Suddenly, 
made the pain stop. Oh dear child, why are you crying? Because you hurt me. I'm not hurt. Oh no, no, no. I'm sorry that I hurt you. See who did meet you. The moon, stars, and clouds. Whoosh, whoosh. Feeling these blues in there. Thank you, dear sky, for today I'm with you also, my friend, too. A shop on a place to sign above his door. Dad said, puppies for sale. A little boy saw that sign and approached the owner. How much are you going to sell the puppies for? He asked. The shop owner replied, I will sell it for 3,000 rupees. The little boy pulled out some change from his pocket. I have 300 rupees. He said, can I please just look at them? The shop owner smiled and whistled. Out of the kennel, there came a lady who bought with her five tiny balls of fur. One puppy was lagging behind. Immediately, the little boy singled out that lagging, lumping puppy. What's wrong with that little dog? The shop owner explained that the veterinarian had said that little puppy would always live. It would always be lamb. The little boy became excited. That is the puppy I want to buy. The shop owner countered, You really don't want to buy this little dog. It would not, never be able to run or jump or play with you like the other puppies. To his surprise, the little boy rolled up his pants and said, I have a crippled leg too. He softly said, Well, I don't run so well myself. I'm a little puppy who needs someone who understands. Once for a time, there was a girl watering the plants in her garden. She was all alone in the house. Yes, her parents were out of station. She thought to plant few seeds in her garden. When she dug the soil, she found something in the roots. She dig deeper and deeper and deeper. Then she discovered an unusual thing. It was a broken finger. She runs to the kitchen and brings an empty jug. She puts on her gloves and picks up the finger and put it in the jug and hides it in the cupboard. She thought when her mother will come back, she will give it to her. At night, she went to bed and then she heard the moaning and groaning and then she heard the voice.
when she was just 11 years old. But her heart broke and tears came, came out from her face. But she did not agree to that. She still had gone, she still went to school and gave and gave speeches around Pakistan to other people uh, so that uh, girls could go to school. But Taliban didn't approve it and made her a target. One day when me, uh, Malala was coming back home from school, a gunman boarded her school bus and asked, who is Malala? Nobody answered. He shouted again, Who is Malala? This time, even louder. Everyone started looking at her. The gunman knew that girl was Malala. He took out his gun and shot her on the left side of her face. Blood started flowing from her face. She went unconscious. She woke up 10 days later in England. The doctors and nurses told her about the attack. She had one choice. She had two choices. To live a quiet life. To live a quiet life. Or let uh, or make girls uh, go to school. And let's all take a pledge for the girls' equality and education.
sing it like this. Twin, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. If Pandit he would sing twinkle, twinkle, he would sing like a mantra. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Once upon a time, there was a class and I had a teacher named Miss Rossi. Miss Rossi was very fat. One day, Miss Rossi was taking their oral test. What does the chicken give you? The students are saying, me. What does the pig give you? The students are saying, bacon. What does the fat cow give you? The student look at each other and shouted, Shut fat cow give us home. <laughs> Types of moms. The dawn mom. The mom who always stares. Scene 1. Kubair is opening the fridge and eating chocolate. They're doing the chocolate. <laughs> Scene 2. Relatives have come home and Kubel is playing game on the mobile. <laughs> Scene 3. Kubel's friends have come home and asked him to come to park. Can I go out to play? No. Oh. Oh. No, I can't go. I have to study. The second mom, the overprotective mom. Scene 1. Beta eat apples. Is the brain favor? Karega? Or Rasu is full of sanghi apke? Or Rahul ko bhi beat kar paoge? Scene 2. Kubir asks, What's for lunch? What's for lunch? Palak paneer. Chi, I don't eat palak paneer. I eat it now. The next mom, the superstitious mom. Scene 1. Kubel is going for his exam. Mom, the exam is going to go. Look, look, look. We are going to go. We are going to go. We are going to go. Scene 2. Saraswati mom. Did you say Saraswati mom? No. The strict mom. Kubel breaks the glass by mistake. <laughs> Scene 2. Kubel fails in his English exam. <laughs> I checked up in school. Me, I have to go to the house. I have to go to the house.
next mom, the modern mom, the mom that every child would wish for. Scene one. बेटा क्या चल रहा है आजकल स्कूल में? कल मेरा फंक्शन है। फिर तो मैचिंग पहनेंगे दोनों। अभी वो टीप वाली को बहुत मत मारो। Scene two. बेटा क्या कर रहे हो? कल मेरे एग्जाम है। चलो छोड़ो बाकी की पढ़ाई कल कर लेना। थोड़ी शरारत भी किया करो। सारा दिन पढ़ाई ही थोड़ी करनी है। यूटी है कौन सा बोर्ड के एग्जाम? चलो घूमने चलते हैं। थोड़ा मूड ठीक हो जाएगा।